Welcome to Campus Chat, a look at the people, the opportunities, programs, and happenings at Western Nevada College. Campus Chat is made possible by the Western Nevada College Foundation. Good morning and welcome to Campus Chat. My name is Helene Jesse and this is the program about the people and stuff that's happening at Western Nevada College. So welcome and our my two guests today are Bill Gibson. He's the general at the Thunder Canyon, a beautiful golf and country club in Washoe Valley. And sitting next to him is Pam Robinson. Pam is on the WNC Foundation Board and she's also the owner of the Embroidery Doctor in Sparks, right? Welcome, you guys. And they're the co-chairs of the 12th annual WNC Golf Classic. Amazing. 12th year. Amazing. Amazing. We were talking and thinking it was about seven. seven. And then we looked down at the sheet like, oh, that can't be right. Twelve years. And, Bill, how long have you been doing this? Third year. Third year. So, yeah, it's, it's great to have you. And so the event, what is the event? The event is going to be Monday, September 21st. And it is at Thunder Canyon. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, that is a, a treat for the golfers this year. The golf club, you don't get to get on that unless you're a member or happen to be a lucky guest. And so what makes this um, show fun that we do, we start uh, promoting this in July, is that the tournament fills up quickly. There's a lot of fun happening, and you don't have to be a good golfer. I've been golfing for 11 years now, and I'm horrible. But I have a great well, time. Well, the point of this golf yeah. tournament is fun. <laughs> That's our stress point. Yeah. Fun. I mean, you're not going to get big money. It is a fundraiser for our college. So you're going to have wonderful food. You're going to have fun prizes that you're getting. You're going to have all the things that you get at the big golf tournaments that you get big bucks for. Too. Yeah, tea prizes. Yeah. We were just talking about um, last time we had a beautiful wind, uh, wind shirt. Mm -hmm. We have a poker run, all kinds of stuff. It's a blast. And great food. Oh well, yeah, absolutely, plentiful. absolutely. The food's always good, uh, and uh, we we enjoy that. You know, I know our chef's going to uh, do something really nice for everyone. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, who are our sponsors this year? We always could use sponsors, but can we you can, tell me about who we have? We have had one sponsor that has been our main sponsor for years. This year, they're not. <laughs> and so, what we are doing right now is we are looking for a main sponsor. If anybody would like to step <laughs> forward and be our main sponsor, we would love it. But we have some wonderful sponsors right now. We have City National. We have Roger and Gail Block, who own Thunder Canyon. And we have the Eagle Valley Golf Course. And, you know, just we have a few really wonderful sponsors. But we're still looking for that one main sponsor that your name is going to be at the Star Golf Tournament. So if any of you are interested in that, please. Or just interested in sponsoring any part of our tournament, we love it because the money goes to <laughs> wonderful things. The proceeds all go to the general fund for the college, and that money then goes to help scholarship uh, receptions, newsletters for the classrooms, campus chat, so much more. I mean, it is a main part of what happens at the college. Really, you actually help to pay for this show. Yes. And that. I, I think people are opening their wallets yeah, right I now. Yeah, I think right now, if they, if they could live with or without campus chat, I'm thinking they're... They can't. They can't. No, I, There's I, no I, way. I agree. They cannot do it. I know, it, it, it's a lot of fun. So, if, so Bill, you're a business guy. Why does enter the tournament? What's you know, in it for them? There, there's a lot in this. I mean, not, not just a, a great event and on a, I mean, on a golf course. That, I'll tell you right now, this golf course is in the best shape it's ever been. But um, the exposure that you have to the community with there being a sponsor or just being in the event as a, as a team is, is amazing because it's, it's everyone in the community that's taking part. You have business owners, you have people who are managing business, businesses as well as the workers, and the community get involved. A lot of exposure for you if you're a corporate team, which on the corporate team side, uh, it's $800, correct? Uh, and there's advertising that's involved for you in that. And so the exposure that you're getting on a corporate level is great and a good time. Yeah, it's a great time. I know uh, Pam uh, sits at hole number 17, and so... <laughs> That's everyone's favorite hole. That's the right? Bloody Mary Margarita hole. <laughs> I even have golfers come across the field with their cups. Yeah, you know. yeah, hey, you're on hole number two. I don't care. I'm going to 17. You're not stopping me. But okay. Yeah, whatever. Please come. And I am. So we have a good time. In fact, there's a party on hole number 17. So, I mean, <laughs> come on out. I know. It's great. So, we talked about that it is a major fundraiser for the college. Um, you know, Western Nevada College, it's a jewel in the community. It I mean, is. It's a, our enrollment's up by 
Amazing. I mean, it's really important. And so, um, step on it. <laughs> She's over there dancing to the music. So, how much is it um, for like a player too? It's one hundred and fifty dollars per player uh, for just an individual. It's six hundred if you want to get a few of your friends together. So that's a team. Mm -hmm. And again, the corporate teams are eight hundred dollars. That includes a T sign. It's advertising and everything that we do. And just general recognition when you're a corporate sponsor. You know, we have a program. We do a thank you ad at the end of the tournament. We also have a great continental breakfast. Oh, we do. That's fun. Oh, and the golf carts at Thunder Canyon, they're great. They're just <laughs> deluxe. I, mean, I love the golf carts. <laughs> I play. I, I, Leslie Townsend is my assistant. She's not here right now. She's resting in anticipation of the golf tournament. <laughs> right a long time ago that it goes much more smoothly when I'm not involved in the minutia. If I can just play, and I've had the same team for about oh, eight years now. Probably. I've got Cindy McDonald. She's a pro. So, you know, you've got to have someone who can hit the ball. Joanne Sheeran, she can play. She, right? she knows her way around our golf course yeah. a little yes. bit, too. Joanne. <laughs> and then that's the team of what she does. Yeah, I've stacked you know, I mean, it's bad. <laughs> Normally. You know, we, we have a special golf cart for you that has a whole lights, and yeah. I think we'll have an, a, a siren installed this year. It should. Sure. It it's should. Sure. Sure. It's a lot of fun, this tournament, isn't it? I'm really they grateful do. to Roger and Gail for hosting us. Well, you know, they, they've been huge supporters of the college for a long time, and, and they just they really believe in being part. Uh, hopefully, they're going to be able to be part of it this year. We, right. we, they've been out the last couple of years, but uh, I know they look forward to it and being part of the event every year. And I know Gail is on our foundation board as well. She's been on our foundation board for about 12 years, almost as long as I did. From the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's really cool. So I know we're almost out of time with this segment, and so I just want to thank Bill and Pam for, for everything. And oh, Great. call me at 445-3240 and J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E at WNC.edu and you can sign up because it does fill up. We can have many people can we have quickly. play? We can put 144 folks out there. Yeah. So, and it's getting to the point these last few years that almost <laughs> having to turn people away. So please come in, sign up early so that we can make sure that you have the best of everything that we can give to you. You just have to ask yourself, am I worth all the fun I'm going to have? And I say, <laughs> yes. We are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you uh, for watching this segment of Campus Chat. We'll be right back with uh, community education, another fun aspect of the college. Thank That's you. It. And the next two segments, we're going to be talking about the Community Education Program of Western Nevada College, which is really diverse. There's a lot of things you can do. It's uh, classes that support the cultural, social, and recreational life of the community. And with me today is Linda Whitehill, and she is the coordinator for continuing education mm -hmm. and community education. Yes. It's both, kind yes. of, right? Yes. Well, community education is, um, it serves both the College for Kids age group all the way through the Midwest on the Motorcycle group. Um, <laughs> and, and continuing education, what we're trying to do is get our community to come back on campus and learn about different things such as ballroom dance. We have ground school, AV school coming back in wow. the fall. Wow. Oh, that's great. Yep. Great enrollment. We have motorcycle safety classes. Uh, we're going to have a three-week program in July, the last three weeks of July, for College for Kids. And there's about six instructors, two here from WNC, they are going to teach classes for kids. Oh, isn't that great? So mm -hmm. uh, well, how do they sign up for that? Well, and they, College for Kids, they have to call me directly at 445-4268. Uh, we do have a tab signature and enroll them in the class. We're going to have Legos. A class. We're going to have an um, archaeology dig class. We're going to have a few art classes. Is there an age limit? 
They're going to be ranging 8 to 12 years old. That's what we're trying to go for And right is it now. all day? Like it's, a camp? They can do, it's like a camp. They can do a half-day camp where they do one or two classes or, or come in the afternoon and do an afternoon class, or they can stay all day and we'll have a little lunch for them. Oh, how fun. That sounds great. You know, um, you know, we were talking about the diversity of of your area, and last I think last month's show we had on the meditation class. Yes, with Richard. Richard Thornley. Oh, that, and I heard I've had a couple people come up to me that have watched that who have said they really enjoyed that Excellent. show, being in his zendo. So. Classes can be credit, non-credit. These are non-credit classes. Uh, some of our credit, some of the classes that are successful, like the aviation ground school, if we have a high enrollment, can go to the credit side, and vice versa. If we have something that isn't getting the enrollment on the credit side, they can come to us. But it is non-credit. What we're doing is trying to introduce people for, to different um, aspects of life that they may not realize. Astrology class, stress relief, self hypnosis class. To, um, we have how to dress uh, to make yourself not look too young but not too old so that you're bound to retire, and it's great for weddings when the mom's not sure what she's going to wear to a daughter's wedding. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, I used to teach my girlfriend and I, and I always use this program to say, talk about it. Inner Peace 101 is to say we're not, um, we have not yet achieved inner peace. And that's why for four years we just taught one on one. We never made it. To there you go. That's <laughs> the philosophy of life, let's, right? Let's, let's just go to. That just brings me to qualification of teacher. <laughs> Doesn't that make you think, like, huh, huh? How in the world did she get in there? So what? How do you qualify if you want to teach? You're watching this class. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, huh? Oh, I could do something like that. What you need to do, you need to talk to me what it is your passion is. That's the number one thing about most instructors, their passion. Um, if do they know how to communicate to an, a student? Not do the project for the student, but teach them how to do right. it themselves. Um, I have a couple of have PhDs that are working for me. There's an attorney, actually, Richard is an attorney mm -hmm. in town. Um, so it, it's how you feel about it. Um, and people find out I have a lady who wanted to teach feeding. She goes, I can't teach someone. So knowing if you can teach is a big thing. Now, do the costs vary from class to class? Yes. And so uh, what it could be, and it could, and the times vary also, correct? correct. The uh, times for classes, can, usually adult class, evening times, 5.30 to 9 o'clock at night, or Saturdays and Sundays. A lot of the community ed classes are on Saturdays. Like um, one day or a, like two yeah, or three One Saturdays. day, a uh, workshop, uh, maybe there's a oil and where we introduce people on Friday night, then the following Saturday, a week later, they come back and put the oil and vinegars together. Mm -hmm. um, so we can have two day shop classes, six weeks, or a, a, a full semester. And so th it varies quite a bit. Yeah, that's great. And so what um, a really popular program is your motorcycle safety, yeah. correct? Yes. How many people do you have in that? Uh, there's a law requirement on that. There are 12 people if I have a two person instructing. instructing um, if we have a modified range, which my Harley-Davidson range and Department of Transportation, and we would like to thank them because they're volunteering and not charging us for those ranges, those are 8 and 12 people modified classes too. Okay. Three a weekend, and uh, we book probably right now with three ranges three weeks in advance. Did you have to take that class? To get a motorcycle driving license? No, actually, you do not, but it is to your advantage for several reasons. The number one, a weak motorcycle, so therefore you're not damaging your motorcycle if it falls over. That's my bike. <laughs> um, and the other is that you have to have a street legal bike to take the DMV test, and all our bikes are street legal. So if you have a suicide clutch, your bike, motorcycle is not going to work at DMV. The biggest advantage is a discount on your insurance. Most insurance companies will give you a discount for having gone through this safety program, which is a national to them. What's the most unusual class you've offered, do you think? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would probably say the um, – why, well, you stumped me on this one. <laughs> And it's not on the script, and Sammy, my producer's going, huh, once again. Okay. Not asking questions on the script, Helene. <laughs> Lengthy pause in front of Yeah, me. very good. good. You're yeah. good. Well, um, I think about it next time. Yeah. I, yeah. I think some. <laughs> you can remember. Oh, I know one. Part. 
I do help oh. them. We have a women's self-defense class, and a man signed up for it. <laughs> <laughs> His okay. wife even said, you don't take off defense class. He goes, but I can take it. And he goes, no, honey, it's just for women so that we can fight you off. So that was probably the most unusual situation, I think. Oh, that's cute. And they, we don't just offer classes on the Carson campus. No, right? not at all. We all in uh, Urington, Love, Loveland. Lovelock. Lovelock. Thank you. I'm thinking of Colorado now. <laughs> um, Fernley, Fallon, Carson City. Douglas. Douglas. Uh, we do a few of those right now. Okay. Yeah. So what's your phone number if people either want to teach or take some classes? 445-4268. And we're also going to have some numbers on the screen about how you can contact Fallon and the rural centers and the Douglas campus. And stay right with us. Linda. You're That's welcome. Thank pleasure. you. We'll be right back with two instructors. today's show, and our guests are two community education instructors. We were talking with Linda Whitehill, the coordinator, about the diverse array of classes that people can take and that if you want to become an instructor, you need to be passionate about what you do, and I have a feeling that these women here are very passionate about what they do. Right, Suzanne? Yes. Yeah, I think yes. 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 Too, Absolutely. So Suzanne Corbin's on the far right of your screen, and she teaches Flower Fun 101, and Georgia Wright teaches ballroom dance, right? Yes. And so welcome. Nice having you on the show. Thank it's you. It's really great to have you. What, Suzanne, when you were thinking about it, what prompted you to even teach the class? What did you, well, how did it um, all occur? It all occurred when a friend of mine um, called me and said, uh, I wanted to take a class at the community college. Uh, for a flower range and, and they don't offer anything. They said they didn't have an instructor. So um, she and she was talking to Linda, who does the community ed, and um, and Linda said, you know, my phone number, have her call me. So I called, and the rest is history. I came in and, and met with Linda, and um, we worked out a schedule, and that's how it all. Oh, it yeah. was from necessity, I guess. That's yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Now, does your class run all semester? It's like six weeks. Six it's weeks. six weeks, Monday night, um, 6.30 to 8.30, so it's a two-hour class, and um, so, yeah. When does it start? July 6th. July 6th, great. Mm -hmm. So they would call Linda and sign up to that way? Correct. And up here at the Reynolds Center, or? It is uh, in the Aspen Building. Oh, okay. Um, 102, I believe, is the room. 210. 210. And so do you provide life? I do. I provide all of the supplies, everything you'll need, as well as flowers, greenery, containers, and you will be taking something home each class. Isn't that great? Now, Dave, if you could pan up to over here, please. Flowers right here. Thank you. So there's roses definitely in here, right? Mm-hmm. And lupin? Those are um, salvia out of my yard. Salvia, and then... Those are peonies out of my yard. Oh, and then what's that over there? Hydrangea. Oh, yeah. so you just take stuff out of your yard. I do. And I do. And nice? along with the roses from the wholesaler. Yeah. So and I'm going to teach that as well. You know, let them know that they can go out to their yard, cut things out of the yard, what is a good cut flower, and that with uh, stuff they buy from the store as well. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Now, Georgia teaches ballroom dance. Where, where do you actually hold your classes? Um, it's at Sterling and Mecca Hall, oh, and it's yes. uh, Thursday night, and uh, from 7 to 8. And, and when, your, when does your class start? It started last week, so it's an eight-week summer program, and then we're going to be doing it again in fall for another eight weeks. So people can, so by the time you're watching this, her program will probably be four or five weeks into it, but don't worry, you can sign up for dance class for the fall. Yes. Now, Georgia is a very good dancer. I remember Georgia from when I learned how to dance with Dancing with the Stars. We do. Yeah. Boy, we and she was a good answer, too. No, we weren't. We weren't. We were. That was fun. I want to say another word, but I can't. And we were horrid. Um, I mean, kind of, you know, it's like the dancing with the stars on TV. Yeah. So what makes you decide to uh, teach 
ballroom dance? Um, well, I grew up dancing my whole life and got certified in ballroom. And then I was teaching in Reno, and Linda called me and said, we need a ballroom instructor in Carson, and we're trying to get it to grow all through the community, Reno Sparks, Gardnerville, everywhere. So as much ballroom uh, education we can get. What What is a standard... I mean, it's not ballroom dancing encompasses many dances, like yeah. what types? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's waltz, foxtrot, tango, rumba, cha-cha, waltz, like all the stuff you see on Dancing with the Stars. What's your favorite? Um, my favorite? Have one. Ooh, that's I think I think salsa is my favorite just because it's the most social. Mm -hmm. So I can go out any country, anywhere, and, and you can salsa. find salsa. Salsa and swing are the two that are the most popular, I would say. Oh, yeah. really? Now, yeah. how many? Um, do you, how many students do you have in your class right now? Oh, since we just started last week, I think we had about five or six signed up. Uh huh. So yeah. that's okay. Uh -huh. You don't need a partner. So we rotate partners. So if you're just a single person who wants to come and learn how to dance, get that confidence on the dance floor. That's great. Yeah, you can come. That's great exercise, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. For those hips. Yeah. Gets the heart rate going <laughs> up. And then the add flowers. flowers. The idea of the flowers, too, because you can, like you say, just bring in. How, how long have you been arranging flowers? Uh, about eight years. I bought a shop in Caliente, Nevada. Uh, started off there, and then bought another shop in Los, and then um, moved up here and basically do it out of my home. Do weddings. Do lots of weddings and oh, events. Right. Wedding so, dances. Yeah, that's oh, right. They call you, so they yeah, call so Linda for the flowers. They exactly. call Linda White Hill because dance and George's number, right? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. That's right. So how much does your class cost? My class is $180, but again, you do take something home each class, so it's, um, you know, it's, I think it's a good value for what you get. I mean, yeah. lifelong. Absolutely. We are you know, you can you use it. fish. Here. You get fish. <laughs> you get the analogy. You don't just get fish for a day. That's you right. Are you are fish. That's yeah. right. You are right. Here and you use flowers. Time. Birth to death. I mean, yeah. they are throughout your entire life. They're there forever. Right? Yeah, they follow you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they oh, are. That's great. How much is your class? See, um, you don't take anything home but the pride of getting through the step of the day, <laughs> right. um, and then you get homework to go practice with, right. you know, out and about socially, and you know, doing wedding dances and stuff like that. So you get to choreograph, you choreograph a wedding dance. So um, that first dance the between a couple, you know. Between a couple, between mom and uh, the daughter, father-daughter -daughter dance. All oh, that kind of stuff. isn't yeah. that sweet? Mm -hmm. I know, my favorite dance <laughs> is the waltz. Waltz is beautiful. Waltz is beautiful. Yeah. It's really easy not to do. I mean, it's not that easy, but still, it's just a simple, you know, one, two, three, it's one, a good, two, It's three. a good first dance. It really is. It's simple and it's elegant. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. What's your, Fair do you enough. have a favorite flower? Um, I would say probably the peony is my favorite. That's, that's pretty peony. Yeah, I'm not going to have a picture of my peony <laughs> on, on my cell phone. Oh. Do we want to go there, David? <laughs> I don't think we do, really. I, yeah. those, are, I love, those are from my garden, actually. Those are beautiful. Thank you. They're amazing flowers. So, um, will this be your first class that you've taught? Or? It is. Um, I did some small things in Genoa with the girls. Um, I did it for the business association there, and then one for a home and garden tour in my backyard. Uh, but that's it. I have a formal class, so yes, this will be my first um, class, and it's going to be fun and interactive, and um, I hope you sign up. Yeah, sign up. Sounds like yeah. a lot of fun. How about for you? Is this your, this not your no, first class? No, we did, we, yeah, no, we did uh, last month. Oh, okay. We started it, and we had about... I don't know, like 18 people in there? Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. That's great. So this is a beginning level class? Beginning then? intro level social ballroom. Okay. Yeah. And then are you going to offer advanced later on, perhaps? Um, get the as it grows, okay. interest, we want to make sure that we don't lose people who want to progress. So yeah, it definitely will get it maybe in a beginning and an intermediate class and so on. From there. And then do you have, obviously, different types of music there for... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the bedroom um, box or something? Yeah, bedroom the stereo yeah. and my iPod. And we... And I and the DJ, and exactly. tell them how to, what dances to do that goes with what music as well. So when you're out and about. Yeah, that is a blast. Yeah, what yeah. a great thing um, up here at Western Nevada come and I mean, it, like I like we were talking, it's just a variety. Yeah. From flowers to dancing to inner peace. <laughs> That's right. 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 You, you have it all. You have it all. You have it all. Sorry. Meditation. I love it. I but, just love it. Well, Suzanne Corbin, she's our flower um, Fun 101 instructor in Georgia, right? Is our um, ballroom dance instructor. So, call.
call 445-4268 and talk to Linda and you can get signed up for any of these. You can also go online, wnc.edu. Excuse me. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It was a lot of fun and I hope your classes go well and I think they will. So sign up. Have a lot. There's lots to do at Western Nevada College. And thank you and we'll see you next time. This has been Campus Chat, a monthly program from Western Nevada College. Campus Chat is made possible by the Western Nevada College Foundation.